everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie if you're new here and welcome to Cassie's Castle. For today's video, we are going to be doing the long-awaited updated lounge fly collection. You guys know I'm a big lounge fly collector, but I will be honest, I have been slowing down on the lounge flies just because I have way too many and I figured we could do this video before I decide to get rid of some. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, make sure you guys subscribe and let's get started. I think I'm going to start with the bags that are on the shelves. I've shown these bags a million and one times. The first bag that we have is this mint green sequin lounge fly. I have overall have limited myself to only have bags that are official Disney park bags, sequin bags. Like those are like the bags that I prioritize getting. This first bag is the mint green lounge fly, like a matte sequin and it has gold hardware, which is so pretty this bag is seriously stunning and definitely one of my favorites of this little gold mini mouse keychain which i think i got at disneyland or on shop disney the inside the polka dot print which is really cute and i think most mini sequin bags have like a polka dot pattern on the inside this bag does have two side pockets there's no pocket on the inside i just love this bag it's so pretty next we have this bag which is from the Minnie mouse Lane attraction i did take this on my disney world trip so pretty i love the silver we have a little carousel here which is embroidered and then we have the really pretty gold hardware really pretty sequin color and we have the bow with the crown for arthur's carousel for gold hardware which is my absolute favorite and we have two side pockets the back is like this blue color even though i wore it to the park still kept the tag on just because i'm crazy and we have gold straps on the inside and it's really pretty little pattern next up we have this bag i actually got from box lunch i think i've worn it maybe once but I get really nervous because it is white, which is why I don't wear it very often because it's just too pretty and I don't want to ruin it. Ones are kind of like holographic and then it's just plain white, rose gold hardware. The plaque is on the corner. On the side, I have this little Alice in Wonderland teacup keychain, which I got from Anton Disney. And we have two side pockets, and then we have the really pretty pink straps. Love the color pink, so any bag that has a little bit of pink, I'm definitely tempted to buy. White and pink polka dot pattern on the inside. I don't think most of my bags are still available. If anything's available, I'll let you know, but I'm pretty sure all the bags that I have are like no longer <laughs> available for purchase so your best bet is going to be like a reseller site like mercari which is usually where i get lots of bags as well next we have this bag which is from box lunch i've never used this bag this is the cinderella 70th anniversary lounge fly i love the detail um, we have the little mice the little birds which these are threaded on or embroidered and then we have the bow i love all the little bows so cute love the details that they have like this has like little scissors. We have more bows over here. And then the straps are actually a measuring tape, which is a really cute detail. And then we have the plaque on the back and little Gus Gus, who is embroidered as well. Cinderella 70th anniversary. I'm not like a huge Cinderella fan, but I do love pink. And I love that it's her, the pink dress that she wears, which I think is so special. I also have the matching wallet. It's just pink and really pretty on the back we have the plaque gus gus and then on the inside it looks like this i bought this one off of modern penna next bag that we have is this crossbody bag which was also released with the cinderella collection from box lunch it's like this really pretty blue color we have all the pearls which are so pretty we have the little bird kind of like a patch we have a bow the back it looks like this and we have some little details at the bottom it's like this bag is so cute on the side we have the little thread i love the pearl handle and honestly i think that was like the biggest selling point was the pearl handle for me the one thing i will say about lounge fly crossbodies is that i feel like they're really big to wear as a crossbody especially on me i'm just very petite and so having a bag like this i feel like it kind of just like drowns me out like i'd rather just wear like a backpack so that is why i don't reach for this one at all i have like other danielle nicole crossbodies which i prefer a bit more and then like my sony Clover fanny packs just because they're smaller and i feel like they fit 
my body better but i do love it i think it's really beautiful which is why i still have it and then on the inside we have the same kind of pattern but it's pink i know they released some other bags in this collection some other backpacks especially so if you like cinderella i would recommend hunting down the items from this collection because i out of all the anniversary collections i've seen i feel like the cinderella box lunch one was the best a character i really love is marie i have this marie bag Bag, which is from very nico i don't think it's still available but my very nico code is cassie vn if you guys want to save some money on their website it's so cute look at her i love this little like pattern on the ears i think she's so cute i think this is the only like cosplay bag i actually have the back it says because i'm a lady that's why it has a little zipper right here for the front pocket there are no side pockets but the plaque is on the side it's like this really pretty floral pattern and you can find like hidden marie's in it which is really cute i did wear this to disney world um very nico did send it to me so this bag's like a little dirty if you can see because i wore it to disney world this one is definitely one of my favorite bags ever it's another marie bag and i found this one on mercari i love the floral pattern the all over print i'm not really big on all over print but this one is just like perfection so i needed it we got pretty lucky with the three marie's and then we have a little plaque right here we have some side pockets and i added this little marie keychain that i got on shop disney i think it's so cute i actually have some stuff in here because i use this bag a lot just a polka dot kind of material oh my gosh i've been looking for this hair clip i didn't know it was in there i feel like the quality on the leather is like really nice on this one so that's another reason why i love it and i know they have another version that's like pink but I just really liked the white. Next we have this bag, which is also from the Minnie Mouse Made Attraction series. And this is from the Jungle Cruise collection. We have lots of sparkles on the front. This is actually like, feels like fur. This is like a suede bow, little elephant here, and the plaque. And this is also a sequin. On the side, it's more of like a burlap kind of material. Little Mickey cheetah print keychain I got from forever 21 and then we have like the suede kind of material in the back obviously i have not used this bag it is more of like a collector's item for me i honestly like when i first saw this i hated this bag that was the ugliest thing ever i've talked about this before but for some reason the more i saw it the more it grew on me so i just kind of bought it as like um like i successfully bought things from the Minnie mouse main attraction series and not many people can say that so we added this one. You see how, oh, and the inside, it's like a green sheet of print kind of material. Will I wear this? I mean, probably not too often, but if I ever go to Animal Kingdom, I'll be wearing that bag, okay? Next, we have this bag, which is a newer bag to my collection. It's this really pretty um, or orchid. I think that's the name of it, like fuchsia orchid or something like that. So pretty. I bought it recently. It came out this year and it's just like a really pretty color. I feel like this would be really cute in the fall and then of course the summertime. Like a leather bow and a really nice leather on the back. We do have side pockets like polka dots. We have this bag, which this one, I kind of go back and forth on if I love it or not really feeling it. I just really want like a purple sequined Minnie Mouse bag, but I think the more I have it, the more I don't like it, mainly because I just don't like this like plasticky feeling material, if that makes sense. Like it just, like it's really pretty, but I just don't like the way it feels i guess it's like so i don't know i don't know i think it just like kind of makes it look cheap i guess like the kind of like leathery kind of straps i don't know because i like my other one i don't know something about this is just not my vibe i think if they came out with like a matte lavender color kind of like the mint green i would definitely sell this bag replace it but until i've they release that then i will be holding on to it. it has the plaque on the middle does have side pockets the inside we have the infamous polka dots i don't think i mentioned but the pink the hot pink one that i showed you that one is from shop disney and then this one is from my awesome collectible collectible so it's not like official disneyland park merch you know i told you i love sequins we have this sequin bag 
which is also one of my favorites and probably my most used sequin bag because I just love this shade of pink. It's so perfect in every way. We have the pink bow. I love it so much. We have the plaque. Everything about it is just so pretty and I love that it's matte sequin. I feel like it just looks so much cuter. I have this little keychain on it because I use it to hold my mini ears when I'm on trips. And this is the bag that I took on my recent trip. We have the pink leather, so the side pockets. The hardware is rose gold. And on the inside, can we guess what it is? Little polka dots. This bag is from my awesome collectibles as well, so it's not like official Disneyland um, merch, but I'm obsessed with that bag. We also have this bag, which I think it's from Pink Ella Mode. It's like a pink ice cream bag, and I think it's so cute. I have actually have never worn it, but I just love that it's an ice cream, so I had to buy it. It's pink with embroidered sprinkles, and then we have the little like frosting detail, and then I love that it's like textured like an ice cream cone. It's so cute, it has like this little mini mouse. This I added, it's a Shelly May keychain. I thought it was so cute because she looks like she's cooking and I feel like it makes sense for the little ice cream bag. The back looks like that. This bag is interesting because the ears are actually on the front of the bag, whereas usually ears are like on the back. So yeah, just like a different kind of design. I still feel like it's cute. Gold hardware, we have this little pattern on the inside. This next bag is from New World at the Riviera at the Riviera Resort. And my friend pick it up for me. It's really a pretty pink color with like the navy blue. We have this glittery bow, the Riviera logo, and of course the plaque. Rose gold hardware and this front detailing is actually like embossed which is really cute. And then this is like an all over print. That's just like screen printed on. It has side pockets. I added this little keychain, which is from Epcot. We have the Riviera kind of pattern. I don't even think Disney makes that many resort bags, but I'm happy that that's my first one because that's really cute. Next we have this bag, which I feel like is a fan favorite. Every time I show you this bag, I get so many questions on it. This one's from Box Lunch and I got it, I think for my birthday like two years ago, like in 2020 or 2021. I would search the internet to try and find one. I have this really a pretty brown color. Flower is like embroidered. Of course we have the plaque, rose gold hardware. This is a burlap kind of, kind of material. I don't know, it feels really soft. And we have these really pretty flowers and I love this detailing on the ears. I think it's so cute. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's like a little pink trim around the ears, which makes me even more obsessed with it. You can kind of see like the pink trim here as well with the little flowers. They're all printed on and the leather is a very, very soft leather, which is really nice. And then on the inside, like mauve pink color. It's not really printed or anything. Like I said, I got it at Box Lunch and I love it. It's perfect for the fall time. I personally would just wear this in the fall time, but you can also do spring because it has flowers. Next, we have this one. I got, I think, like for 30 bucks on Box Lunch. I think I actually had like a gift card, so I just bought this one. There isn't much Pocahontas merch, so when I see really cute stuff, I usually want to get it. It looks so pretty. Like these little leaves are like embossed. Everything else is like screen printed. Have this really nice suede. But Pocahontas on the back. It does have side pockets. And you know I love gold hardware. I also love this like handle. I think it's really cute. Most bags don't have handles that look like this with like the gold clasp. So makes me love it even more. The inside. Oh I didn't even show you the zipper. So it has the plaque and then it has like this little sunflower zipper. This side is so pretty. Look at all these colors. Colors of the Wind, you guys, it does have a zipper in the back. I have this bag, which is from Amazon, and I actually have it linked in my Amazon storefront, so that'll be down below for you guys if you want to shop it. You know, when I first got this, I got so many questions, and it was sold out, but it's back in stock, you guys. So cute, and I feel like this is like a staple lounge fly. Like, if you just want like one lounge fly, I feel like this is such a good one, because it's just denim, and it's gonna match like everything. It's really pretty blue color. We have this like kind of Chanel quilting kind of going on. It's silver Mickey's. So cute. A little white bow. This is like a suede kind of material. There are like little pops of leather like on the lining. 
on the straps. Let's have side pockets. So super simple bag. Have the polka dots, of course, like we usually do. And definitely one of my favorite bags I have. This next bag was actually the first lounge fly bag I ever bought for myself. And this is kind of like what sort of my addiction, to be honest. It is so beautiful. We have this really pretty pattern with art like in little hearts and they're all holding like a little heart with their hands with their prints which is so cute and Ariel and Tiana are on it right here next to each other as they should be in the center because they're my favorite princesses. We have like these little heart detailings of course like quilted. The side we have side pockets and this little charm on the back is just suede. It's a really nice material, so soft. This type of lounge fly that's like really tall like this fits so much stuff. So this bag is from Box Lunch and I feel like it came out for Valentine's Day. Inside it has a bunch of little hearts. Next bag we have is a more recent bag that I've added to my collection. It's this black Mickey bag. This one's from Lecter's Outlet. He has side pockets. Hardware is also black which I love that they did that. It's really cool. It looks like this. I love this bag. I still haven't worn it. It is definitely new to my collection, but I'm excited to wear it for spooky season. I just feel like this bag is another like staple bag. Next bag is another newer bag in my collection, which is from the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary. This is my favorite. Actually, these are the matching ears. I'm wearing the matching ears. That's so funny. And the matching t-shirt. Oh my gosh, I'm so annoying. <laughs> I've been to Disney World once. I just love that it has a castle and I love this neutral color. So I had to get it. We have the 50th anniversary castle printed on. We have these really pretty stars and the leather is like a shimmery sheeny kind of color. I can't really explain it, but it's literally beautiful. Like it reminds me of a glazed donut. We have this like quilted Chanel vibes kind of stitching and then we have the plaque on this side. It looks like this. It does say 50th anniversary. Once again, one of those like bags that is like a collector's item because from the 50th anniversary. So I'm excited to have this. Next bag that we have is this Muses bag. It's my favorite Muses bag they've ever come out with. And honestly, my favorite Hercules bag in general. This bag, the Muses are iconic. So I needed it embossed on the top. This is embroidered. And we have this like a darker metal. This is printed on with all the Muses. Look at how beautiful they are. And then we have, this is also embroidered and the plaque no side pockets it does say zero to hero on the back which is so cute have these straps with this really fun little pattern the inside cloud and thunder lightning kind of print i think i pre-ordered it from blue culture tees which i do have a code i think it's Cassie. I think Cassie is my coat. Next we have this bag, which is so iconic. I did recently buy this from Poshmark and you guys look at how beautiful this is. It is a really pretty black sequin. Of course, candy corn, little bow for Halloween. It is like a matte black plaque, some side pockets, and this is a little candy corn and look at the candy corn zipper, you guys. I love when bags are like this where it's like less is more you know like it's just like the subtle details that like really gets me like plain black leather we have this pumpkin pattern on the inside kind of going with the halloween themed i also have this pumpkin mickey bag which actually was my first launch by ever my mom got it for me for christmas it's like a really pretty soft leather of the little mickey he's so cute it's like embroidered old hardware and it's just like plain on the back and there is a front zipper. I took out all the stuffing because I used it recently, but it has like this really cool pattern. I also have this red sequin bag. Every single Christmas trip I've gone on, I've taken this bag because it's so good. I did get it on sale. I want to say I paid like 50 bucks as well on Shop Disney. I have this gold zipper. We have this leather bow and leather on the back. I need to sneeze. <sighs> My sneeze went away. It looks like this with the little bows. Wow, they switched it up, you guys. Not polka dots this time. Kind of staying with the Christmas themed. We also have this one, which I bought from the parks. I got it on Shop Disney, I think last Christmas is when this was released. So I can't wait to see what they released this Christmas. It better be good. Give me an emerald green sequin lounge fly. I will be all over it. Little Mickey and Minnie, they're so cute. Just like on a sled with like the heart, not the sled. 
the skis on the heart and then look at this it like slides which is so cute and then we have this little detailing here and then on the side we have this little print which is like little snowflakes and we also have pluto right there have the plaque on this side on the inside it is just plain red which is kind of disappointing like at least give me some polka dots. Like, there's literally nothing on the inside. It's literally just red. I have the Santa bag. And I got this one on Mercari, I think, this year. Or maybe last year. I don't know. I know I got it on Mercari, and I got it for, like, 60 bucks. And I saw it, and I was like, eh, let's just buy it. And it's obviously cheaper than it originally was. It says 90 on here. So... I got it for a really good price. I don't know. It's just like a lot. So I don't know if I'm really going to use it. Like I said, I'm not like a big cosplay kind of girl. And this is like very cosplay. The fur, or this like really soft, you guys. And little puff ball. Like the detail is so cute. You have the little Mickey ears, which are leather. This is all leather. I don't know if you can tell, but this is kind of like patched on. And then we have the little belt. Velvet. So pretty. I'm nervous that this would get like stained really badly. Like... I don't know what I would be doing, but like if I spilled something on it, have these little snowflakes on the inside. I could have done the snowflakes for that other white bag I just showed you guys. This little gingerbread Mickey keychain. I think Main Mouse Co. sent this to me. I'm not entirely sure. Those are all the Christmas bags I have. I have another spooky bag. So this is the Ghost Mickey, which is from Very Nico. It actually glows in the dark. This is like embroidered on. It's just super simple, which I love. This is kind of like a fun detail around it says boo on the back and it's embroidered like look at the little mickeys on the o's the detail is so good and we have a little plaque on the side there are no side pockets on this bag on the inside it is black with mickey ghosts here is my um I forgot their name sanderson sisters what's their movie hocus pocus bag like a yeah, funko pop kind of style bag which i think they look so cute I'm not usually a fan of Funko Pops, but like that is just adorable. Look at them. And this is all embossed, detail all throughout, which also is embossed. I have banks on the front, and this is all embossed as well. The plaque, and then we have right here, it says Hocus Pocus. On the inside, it's just black and the gold details all over. This also was gifted to me from Very Nico. We have this one, which this was one of the bags that I really, really, really wanted. We already know I'm a fake Star Wars fan, so we don't need to talk about that. I actually wanted this bag before I bought that princess bag from Box Lunch that I showed you guys earlier with like all the little hearts and stuff. This one just kept selling out every time I wanted it. So it finally restocked, I think like in the summer of 2020 and i bought it and i'm so obsessed with it Darth vader bag is all embossed this is embroidered it's just stunning it's simple we have this plaque don't know what this means but we have that thing it's just red this like deep red and we have side pockets so i feel like this is cute for christmas but i really love it for valentine's day because it has like the flowers it's just plain red on the inside next we have this Minnie mouse bag which is so so cute i did get it on top disney black sequin we have the Minnie mouse bow Minnie mouse pat pouch on the front but that's on the side and the straps it does have side pockets on the inside it looks like that i have a keychain for it but i oh here it is took the keychain off of it because i put it on another bag that i took on my recent trip it's this Minnie mouse keychain which looks like the marie one that i showed you guys earlier not like the most perfect keychain for my lounge fly I think it is. I don't have too many more to go through, but I feel like I've been here forever, so I feel like my energy level is just like going to a negative. This next bag is from Alani, and I did buy this off of Mercari. So cute. I love the cream color. We have all the Duffy and Friends characters except Lena Bell and Cookie Ann, since they are newer characters. We have this really pretty teal color on the back just it's just a fun little all-over print and then i have this little shelly may keychain on it but i feel like i have other keychains that match this bag better i just like haven't put them 
on here. It does have side pockets. It's just like this really pretty blue color. We have this bag, which is from Box Lunch. It has all the princesses on it except Mulan, and they definitely have room to add her, which makes me so upset. I just really love the artwork of this really pretty plaque on the top. The zipper is like my birthday present to myself, I think two years ago, and I'm obsessed with it. There are side pockets. I love the rose gold, this kind of mauve -y kind of color. This little pom-pom keychain, which is from Diamond Dazzle Boutique. This little print, which is like all like the princess accessories. We also have this bag, which is actually a Diana Cole bag, but we're just throwing it in here. This was sent to me, and it's a really pretty bag. We have all these little like gemstones, I don't know, like beads. But yeah, they're beads. Little beads on it is like printed on. We have like this Everyone uses this color for Ariel, which I understand, but like this color is so hard for me to wear. I don't know what it is about it. I can't do it. I think it's like a fun like art piece. I don't think I would wear this bag very often, but I do think it's very beautiful. You guys, I didn't even realize that I didn't switch out my shelves for summer. I kept my spring shelves and this was supposed to be on my lounge fly summer display. So was this, we're just skipping summer and going straight to fall which I'm so sad I forgot and none of you guys reminded me so you guys are all fake. Okay, we have some more. I just need like a, like a two second break so let me just sit here for a little bit before I grab more bags. The next bag that I have is also a Diana Cole. We have the Moana bag. This was sent to me by Pixie Dust and Peaches. She sent it to me for a box swap and I think it's such a cute bag. Of course, these leaves are really cool. Turtles! Stop, I die, that is so cute. And this is like kind of patched on. And so is the flower. We have the big leaves on the side with the side pockets. It's just a really pretty cream color. And it was supposed to be on the summer display that we never did, you guys. This next lounge fly is kind of like on the chopping block. I don't think I'm gonna keep it. I kind of fell into the hype of getting this bag. Like it was supposed to be like an exclusive like cast member bag worth thousands of dollars on Mercari if you wanted it. And they did like a restock on Picala Mode and I was like, oh my God, let me buy it because it'd be worth so much money and now it's like worth like $10. I just kind of fell into that hype and I don't really need it. I thought it was cute because of course it's Snow White. She's like the OG princess. Just like the artwork itself is really cool. We have like the evil queen the old hag, all the dwarves, and then I love the chocolate brown color. It's like, don't need it. Like, I know I'm not really gonna use this, so definitely on the chopping block and most likely going to sell this one. The inside, we have all the dwarves. That looks like this. this next bag is another Diana Cole bag. This one was actually the first PR package I ever received. Actually, I don't think it was PR. It was like definitely like I had to like make a post for it, but it's just really cool that I was able to get a bag. Like that, I remember that moment. I was like, wow, this is really cool. They're sending me one. It has the Alice in Wonderland tea party. This is kind of like zipper. I don't know, it's like an extra pouch over here. Like these really uh, pretty uh, flowers and side pockets, rose gold hardware. I definitely think I'm gonna do a giveaway with this bag. You guys, when we hit 10,000 subscribers, which we are, very close yet like so far still but when we do we're doing a big giveaway and it may or may not be a couple of these bags okay that's all i'm saying so subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet okay we have this peter pan lounge fly this one i bought did i buy this one no very nico sent me this one and i really wanted it just because i really want the mini mouse Peter Pan, main attraction, lounge fly, whatever. Can't get that one because it's worth way too much money, but it is a nice replacement. You know, here it is, a very uh, pretty uh, blue color. I'm gonna start to the right and straight on till morning. And it is like embroidered of the uh, darling children and of course, Peter Pan. And then we have this gold hardware, which is like a really pretty like ombre gold hardware. Oh, and Nana's on the back. How could I forget? On the inside has like skyline kind of view. This Raya bag, which was also from Very Nico. It, it like kind of goes like this, like a little like armadillo thing. Is he an armadillo? Now I really don't know. But yeah, he's so cute. And I did like a little Raya bound with this bag for fun. And it has like this little emblem on the back. 
and the plaque. I think this purple is like beautiful. And we have all of the little tuk-tuks all over the Haunted Mansion bag and it is so cute for spooky season. I just love that it has the cast member's outfit. Like you don't see this very often. I don't think they've ever done a cast member fit for a lounge fly and this is just so cute. Just like this really nice i don't know it feels like an actual like outfit these ruffles we have the little ghost host name tag how this like kind of sticks out like when you're holding it like you can't even see that you're holding it because it's being covered which is kind of cool it does have side pockets and then we have the plaque now what i will say about this bag is i don't like the straps i just don't know why they made the straps like this like i just feel like it looks really cheap and it was still the same price like i still paid like 90 dollars for this bag and it has these like really janky straps but it's still full bag so i will not be getting rid of this and the striped material just kind of goes on the inside as well i feel like you guys thought i had more bags than wait i have a little mermaid bag i don't think i showed you guys wait we have one more hold on wait i definitely have way more oh my god I just remembered exactly where they are. Hold on. I'm embarrassed that I forgot I had like five more bags to show you. That just shows you that I have way too many bags and some of these need to go. This next bag is from Hot Topic and it's like a vintage mini bag. This bag, I don't know if I should keep it. The issue I have, one, I already have the sequined Minnie Mouse backpack that I showed you, the red and the black one, which I love and I love a sequin. And the other issue is that... I just like don't really wear these colors. I don't know, you guys can let me know what you guys think. Cute enough to keep. I go back and forth with it a lot, but yeah. Here's what it looks like. Just a pretty blue with the polka dots, little ruffles on the bottom. I have the little vintage mini hat and the ears, pockets, and yeah. I mean, I've never used it because I just feel like it's harder to style for me personally. Not really a color that I reach for. Then we have the Minnie Mouse. Print. We have this bag, which is also from Amazon. This is my Tinkerbell Loungefly. I love it. I love the gold foiling, you guys. It's just so stunning. I love it so much. Tinkerbell is so cute. Inside, it says a little bit of pixie dust. And it has, like, green tinks all over. I will have the link for this bag um, below because it's on Amazon. This bag that we have is this Milan bag. That other princess bag didn't have Milan, so I need a bag for Jess Milan. I just love that it's pink and purple. I think it's so pretty. I picked this up from Very Nico, and I love it. So cute. We have these embroidered flowers. This is like a canvasy kind of material. Like, it kind of looks like she was painted on, and it does have like little beads on the flowers. I love the light pink. We have some side pockets, a little keychain. I copied this combo from Happily Kathy. I saw her do it and so I was like, that's really cute. So now I need a keychain. I made Happily Kathy get this for me <laughs> at the Lunar New Year celebration at Disneyland. How cute, like the most perfect combo. It's just plain purple on the inside. I show you guys the plaque. Here's the plaque. The plaque is pink on the, in on the side. Next bag is a cocoa bag. And I love this cocoa bag. I feel like they haven't done a better cocoa bag than this one. I'm obsessed with it. It's from Box Lunch. And it was definitely one of those bags that I was like waiting for a restock for. Kind of like that Darth Vader bag. It's really a nice leather. I love the material. The Miguel from Coco. I love this kind of like flap for the front pocket. I feel like that's really cute. Instead of the zipper, we have like these little sugar skulls and it says remember me. All these flowers are like embroidered on, which is really cute. And then on the back, it looks like this. I just think it's like a simple bag and it doesn't scream Coco, which is why I love it so much. Like you can barely see Miguel. On the zipper, we have the guitar, which is such a cute detail. Like I feel like the older Slunch bags just had like the cutest zippers and I feel like now they just like don't really have them. I feel like a lot of the lounge guys don't really have cute zippers and it makes me really upset because like the zipper was like one of my favorite details about the bag a bunch of random stuff in here but let's ignore it we have all of these really uh, pretty flowers on the inside last bag i have to show you guys is a little mermaid bag it's now i love ariel and this is probably like one of my favorite little mermaid bags to ever exist because it's pink 
and it's not like too crazy it's not doing too much you know i just love how simple it is it's really pretty cream color we have these embroidered flowers so cute the disney plaque love this coral i think it's more coral than like pink but we love it keychain so cute look at how it's just like so simple and i love it i added this keychain for made key isn't that so cute you guys I love this keychain. This is from World of Disney. It has like a little mermaid on it. I don't know if you can see her. Ariel. It's just like really a simple bag and I feel like it's great for like everyday summer. Inside we have this like pink kind of floral pattern. That is it you guys. We made it through the entire video. Let me know which bag is your favorite from my collection. I literally have like two mountains of lounge flies next to me. I need to get rid of some. I just want to focus on backpacks in today's video. But if you guys want to see like crossbodies, fanny packs, wallets, and all of that, let me know and I can make a separate video for that. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.